Hello everybody, good morning, good afternoon, and good evening depending on where you are in this amazing world. My name is Donovan Jolly and welcome everybody once again for another amazing video of DIY investing. For today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you guys why I firmly believe Ethereum is going to be going to $20,000 by the end of 2021. We're going to be sharing with you guys how the price structure is actually going to look as we get closer towards the end of the year timeframes and how Ethereum is going to be going on one of the biggest tears that we've ever seen amongst any cryptocurrency in history. We are about to see so much new money flooding into the market, a lot of retail adoption that we haven't seen up to this point. And this is going to be the point where all of the people that have been holding for you know a few months to years are going to set themselves up to make the majority of our profits as the end of the year blow off top takes place. Many people are going to make the majority of their profit just in the next month to a month and a half. And now I'm going to be teaching you guys exactly how to go about making the most profit during that process as soon as it takes place. If you're new and just finding this channel, always remember to do me a favor by leaving a like, comment, and subscribing to this channel for more updates. Always remember to click that notification bell so you don't miss out on any of these amazing videos like the one provided for you here. And make sure you guys sign up and join the Discord server of over 21,000 members growing. Links are provided for you in the description for the people that want to join my community and sign up. On top of that, if you're new, just getting into these markets, and you want extra educational content on how to be more profitable inside the market, links are provided for you in the description to go ahead and download my free ebook and beginner's guide to crypto. So check it out. Links are provided for you in the description. And with all that being said, guys, let's jump right into this amazing video today. Alrighty guys, before we jump into the video, I did want to give a quick shout out for anybody that was interested inside of my NFT project that I've been talking to you guys about. I've partnered with a world famous artist. We're going to be releasing the world's first animated NFT cartoon. And so if this is something interesting to you guys, you guys should actually join the Discord server, get early access in here. There will be a whitelist. So if you guys are interested in being one of the first people to be a part of this project called the Wheelies, you guys actually do need to get in the Discord because that's where all of the early people are going to be able to get access to the whitelist first. So if you guys join, you're going to be able to find a ton of information, a little background on the wheelies, this introduction video explaining what the cartoon is going to look like, the main characters and all of that. If you guys want to know which artist I'm working with, this is Miguel Paredes. He's a world famous artist. A lot of famous people collect his artwork. He's a super amazing person. I actually did have him on the channel a couple months ago. And so this is a project that I'm super excited about working with personally. We have eight full time animators that are hired, getting ready to hire voice actors right now. You know, the mint's actually going to take place in December. And so if you guys want to be able to get all the live updates, follow along, as well as get access to the whitelist so that you guys can be one of the very first people to mint one of these things, links are provided for you in the description to go ahead and sign up and join. I'd love to see you guys in here. We're about to crack a thousand members inside of this and this thing is only going to grow from here. And so I look forward to seeing you guys in there. Now guys, we're actually going to be talking about Ethereum on today's video because I wanted to talk about what I think is going to be taking place as we get closer towards the end of the year. I wanted to analyze the price action. I wanted to simplify some of your guys' worries and concerns that I've been hearing because at the end of the day, guys, what I've seen up to this point from Ethereum has basically just proven me right over and over and over again. And so so you guys already know, if you've been watching this channel, I've had my Ethereum price target set at 20000 all the way since Ethereum was less than $200 each. I've talked about this a lot. I firmly believed it because of how identical Ethereum actually follows the price to Bitcoin. And one of the cool things that's going to be taking place as we get closer towards the end of the year is simply just how vertical the price action is about to get. Now, I've seen a lot of people, a lot of analysts out there that once used to have targets for taking profits at the end of this year that have then pushed them further down the line that are targeting quarter one of 2022, as well as some of them even into mid 2022 and beyond. So I've seen a lot of people that have started to change their trading plans. And this is actually funny because I fully expected that this was going to take place. What will happen at the end of the cycle? As the market will start going parabolic, the market will always go f up faster than you expect and it'll go down quicker than you expect at the same time. You know, this is the way the market's going to work. Whenever we get to this point in the cycle, Bitcoin always waits and takes its sweet time until finally it has the biggest upswing in price that we ever see in the cycle. People that end up changing their trading plan this late in the cycle end up holding on through the bear market. Most of the people that are already changing their trading plan, they're saying, nope, midway 2022, I'm going to hold. The market's going to go up super fast, they're going to get greedy, and they're not going to take their profits. And this is what I've tried to warn a lot of people with, is the market can be very deceptive as you get towards the end of the cycle. 
because your mind is going to play tricks on you. What if you used to have a plan and you've stuck to this plan up to this point and now you're changing that plan so late into the cycle, most of the people doing this are just simply going to lose all of their profit because you have to stick with a plan and you have to follow through with that plan. Now, I'll be honest, guys, if we get towards uh, December 1st and Ethereum is barely broken out, obviously we're going to hold a little bit longer. So there is multiple factors that come into play with this. But for the most part, I don't think that this is going to wait around. I mean, what have we seen up to this point? After we got our short term uh, top right here at $4,500. We ended up correcting. Now, if you guys notice, after the bottom of this correction was met, we saw an immediate rise almost all the way back up to those previous all-time highs. And so this dip was immediately bought up almost instantaneously. In the matter of a couple weeks, the dip was completely gone, and that was setting us up for a new all-time high breakout. And now, from that point, we've already had a little correction, and now we've even broken outside of that. So we've made a new all-time high. We are getting a pullback, but that pullback is taking us perfectly onto support of the previous resistance. If you guys remember, what I talked about was this was a big cup and handle formation. And I said, once we break out of the top of the resistance here, that's going to be our confirmed reversal of this uh, pattern. And this is exactly what we saw here. We broke outside of the resistance and now we're flipping it as support. So if anything, this should be an opportunity to jump back in. Or if you don't want to buy anymore, sitting on your hands and waiting because the continuation will be coming very soon. Now, the point I wanted to make here, guys, was actually just comparing this price action, what we see today, actually looking at what we saw in 2017 for Bitcoin. So if we come over here, this is the same consolidation that I'm trying to make as a point here. Inside a Bitcoin cycle, and why I've always thought that Ethereum would hit 20,000 is because how synced the prices are, how correlated the prices are between both of these assets. And if we come down here, let's actually go and we're going to get the Ethereum chart. Move the drawing tools come into a three-day time frame. And we're going to compare these two cycles because in my opinion, they're very much the same chart. Over here, we bottomed, or I should say, over here for Ethereum, we topped at about $1,400. For, uh, for Bitcoin, we ended up topping at about $1,100. Almost followed the same sort of price. Where we bottomed and accumulated, Bitcoin bottomed from about $160 and accumulated to $300. ETH was about $80 to $300. But we followed roughly the same prices. And then what we saw for Ethereum was once we broke out of the accumulation and we went to new all-time highs, Ethereum went up a lot quicker than Bitcoin did. Ethereum went all the way up to four hundred. Or Ethereum went all the way up to about forty-five hundred dollars before we got a pullback. Whereas Bitcoin, it went from about nine hundred dollars to three thousand. Then we had a pullback. Then we had another rally up to five thousand, and then we had another pullback. And so Bitcoin cycle was a little bit different. Bitcoin had two higher highs made its first one, pulled back, made its second one, and then pulled back like that. Whereas Ethereum pretty much did what both of these, whereas Ethereum pretty much just did both of these moves all in one. It made a much bigger parabolic move, and it pretty much just completed both of these inside of one bigger move. And so where I think we're at today is us literally gearing up for this final impulse. And it's basically the same as what we saw here for Bitcoin. When Bitcoin went from about $1,700 back up to 5,000 and then back down to 3,000. It went all the way up from 3,000 to 20,000 to finish out that cycle. And this is actually what I think is gonna be playing out for Ethereum as well. It's just a little bit different. We didn't have to make two higher highs. We pretty much just made both of those moves in one for this cycle with Ethereum. But now that we're gearing up for the final wave inside of this move, I think it's gonna end up playing out similarly to what we saw. And what's interesting to me is how similar the price actually is for Ethereum. Bitcoin. In 2017, it bottomed right here at about you know $1,700 per Bitcoin, $1,800 approximately, somewhere right around there. And then it made its first higher high to 5,000. This is similar to what we saw here. Both of them bottomed around 1,700, and then both of them made a move back up close to 5,000. And then we had our pullback. And so what this shows is that we're going to be going from about you know $2,500. $500 all the way up to 20000 as we close up the end of the year. And so I do think we're going to follow a similar structure as what we saw with Bitcoin. It can look a little bit different here, but for the most part, I don't think that there's going to be much hesitation. I think that this is the point where if we're going to see Ethereum go on a massive move, it's going to be happening now because we've already flipped the previous all-time high. This is a buy opportunity, and I do expect that that dip will get bought up pretty quickly, you know. These are the types of price swings that we should expect to see now that we're at this point in the cycle. A lot of people are doubting it, but I just don't think that there's a big need to 
considering how much we followed this exact same time frames up to this point. And we can go back to all of the prior cycles and look at this. I mean, we went through accumulation, we make our first break into new all-time highs, and then we get our first sell-off. And then if you guys come over here, this is September to October. This consolidation was September to October, quarter four rolls around, and then we get our immediate blow-off top that takes place. Roughly the same thing played out inside the 2017 cycle. It looks a little bit different than 2013, but once again, it's roughly the same. We can see that September to October is about right there. And then what takes place? Quarter four, and then quarter four leads us into our final massive parabolic push. Where we're at in this cycle is really no different. I mean, we've already had our breakout in the new all-time highs. We already had our pullback from September to October, which is about here. This is the beginning of quarter four. And so really the only thing that we're missing right now is the blow off top. And so based off of how parabolic we've gotten up to this point, how quick the dip's been bought up, I mean, we're pretty much just going straight up. Even if we consolidate here for a little bit, I don't think it changes anything. I firmly, I mean, we're actually a little bit lower right here. We dipped all the way back down to here. But I think that this consolidation ultimately takes us into price discovery, which is where we will see that final end of the year blow off top. So the time frames are the same, guys. Ethereum is once again in the exact same moment of time as what Bitcoin has done over the, over the course of 10 years, where once we start and begin quarter four in that cycle, it's literally what takes us to that final move as we wrap up the end of the year. It happens literally like clockwork every four years. I have 10 years worth of Bitcoin price action to share with you guys how it's been so. And now we even have Ethereum that's beginning to do this exact same thing. In the last cycle we followed, but it was only one cycle that we ever had for Ethereum. This is the cycle where it follows even more identical to what we saw with Bitcoin. And then what to be expected after that point is obviously the bear market. Now, guys, where I think that the bear market low is going to be coming in for Ethereum, I believe that Ethereum is going to be bottoming inside of this consolidation that we just went through, right? So this cup and handle formation that we were watching for, the one that we just broke out of, I actually believe that that becomes our next bear market bottom for Ethereum. My guess is anywhere from $4,000 to $3,000 per ETH is where our cycle low is going to be come the beginning of 2023 when we jump back into the crypto markets. That's where I want to personally be looking to target ETH. But one of the big things I want you guys to understand here is just simply understanding what actually happens towards the end of the cycle and then how to be prepared for the coming bear market because that's the point of these videos. It's not to so much share with you guys how rich we're going to get because obviously that's going to be the case. If Bitcoin and Ethereum go up like this, we're going to be making a lot of money in the process. The point I'm trying to make here is look what happens once the bear market starts. Bitcoin in its last cycle, it made about a 70% drawdown just in the first downswing in that bear market. This was about a 70% correction in here. And so with Ethereum, it's going to be very much the same. You know, the price structure can look a little bit different. Maybe Ethereum does something like this, where it just shoots up straight up, and then it kind of just pops straight back down like XRP did. These are things that happen all the time inside of crypto markets, in a parabolic market as a whole. And so the point I'm trying to make here is simply being ready and willing to take your profits during this run up. You could sell it all right here. You could sell it all right here. Maybe you sell it all right there. Maybe some of you sell the exact top. It doesn't matter, but as long as you're getting out during this rally on the upside, you're gonna save yourself from having to hold throughout this period of time. Because during this first major sell off, the majority of all your altcoin profits were completely wiped out. A lot of them were completely annihilated during this one sell-off alone. Not to mention how many ups and downs Bitcoin went through before selling off another 50%. During every single one of these lower highs in the uh, descending triangle, altcoins fell to a new low. You don't think that your altcoins can just drop 50% and then drop another 50% and then drop another 50%. Most people don't think that that's going to be the case, but it literally plays out like that over and over again. I mean, look at this consolidation for Bitcoin. This was a 70% drawdown, and then we made a bounce. From the top of this bounce down to here, that's another 40% drawdown. From the top of this bounce all the way back down to here, that's another 40% drawdown. From the top of this bounce all the way back down to here, that's a 30% drawdown. And then you get the, the crumbling of this support floor, which was like 56%. So you're going to see all kinds of nasty moves like this in the bear market. Don't be the person that tells yourself, oh, no, I got great cryptos. I'm going to hold through the bear market. I'm going to be fine. I bought early. Don't tell yourself that crap. Sell, take your profits, and then buy the bottom of the cycle if you're so happy and excited 
and excited about that crypto. Don't hold through the bear market because I can tell you guys right now, the majority of your cryptos that you think are the future aren't going to be around in the next cycle. The ones that are around in the next cycle really won't give you the greatest returns had you have invested into some of these other ones, some of the newcomers in the cycle. New trends develop all the time every cycle, and what you're going to do by holding in the bear market and refusing to take profits is basically just limiting your opportunity. You're literally going to be costing yourself so much opportunity because you didn't take profits if there's a new, you know, like kind of what we're seeing with the metaverse tokens right now or NFT projects or what we saw with DeFi in 2020, there's all of these new markets. There's all of these new narratives that will arise in a bull market. You don't have to be the exact earliest one there. You don't have to, as long as you're not, you know, late to the party, as long as you see the trend early on, you guys can follow these trends and make way more money than the person that just simply said, oh, this crypto is the future. I'm buying it and holding it forever, right? And you know, maybe you're right on some of these cryptos. Maybe they are around for a long time, but I'm telling you guys as somebody who's experienced these cycles firsthand, the majority of the cryptos that we think are the future now won't be around in the next cycle. And it happens every time. The big thing that we need to understand is in my opinion, this is the bear cycle that is coming that will lead us into a lot more regulation. We're going to finally see, you know, the IRS, we're going to finally see the government's crack down on crypto and have true regulation for the first time. When that happens, there's going to be a lot of cryptos that simply can't, you know, keep up with the changing tides. They're not going to be able to keep up. They're going to have to basically go bankrupt. And you don't want to be holding in the bear market when that happens because you're going to lose all your money. The best thing to do is take your profits during the peak of the cycle hold that, diversify it in other markets, go buy a house, pay off debt, whatever you need to do, and then look to rebuy during this period of time here. Because guys, if Ethereum's gonna keep following the price chart of Bitcoin, look where Bitcoin's at today. I mean, we're sitting at 63,000. Let's assume Bitcoin goes to $100,000 by the end of the year. And that's let's assume that that's the cycle top for Bitcoin. I mean, if you're buying Ethereum in the next cycle at four to $3,000, Similarly to the bear market low for Bitcoin, if you're doing that and you're looking to hold, guys, I mean, you hold, if we, if you guys have a decent amount of profit now and you're able to just simply go buy Ethereum at the cycle low, let's assume that we buy Ethereum at 3K at the beginning of 2023. Just back to the all-time high of 20,000, you're looking at about a 550% return. If Ethereum does what Bitcoin's doing in this cycle and we go all the way up to 50,000, there's a 15x. If we hit 100,000 per token, there's a 32x. And that's only with Ethereum. That's only Ethereum. And that's one of the most safe picks that I think you could possibly have in crypto. The returns aren't the greatest in the world, but I mean, guys, the most important thing that we can do for ourselves is get out during the opportune time when the ma when the max uh, when the prices are at its highest, the me the peak point of financial risk. That's when we want to be getting out, and we want to be taking those profits and buying in the bear market. Because guys, if we buy in the bear market with our profits for the next you know two years, all we have to do is just hold. We literally do nothing besides hold, and all of this can be choppy. We could see ETH do this. We could see ETH do this, and then we could see it repeat the whole Bitcoin cycle over again. Regardless, it doesn't change anything. We don't want to have to complicate ourselves, cost ourselves profit. And the only reason that you cost yourself profit is because you're not timed and in sync with the cycle. The people that are still buying during this period, the people that are refusing to sell, are going to lose all their money. The people that are selling during here and are buying during this period are literally going to have the easiest jobs because all we have to do is take the money in our bank, press buy on Coinbase or any exchange, and then hold for two years. That's it. That's all. It's literally all we have to do. It's not like we're some expert. We just got in at the right time and then we got out at the right time as well. And so I wanted to give you guys this update is just a way to map out prior bear cycles, map out what we're going to expect to see at the end of the year. This is the pump and dump. This is the point of the cycle where we are literally about to experience the biggest pump and dump you guys have ever seen. If you're just now getting in, you're late to the show, still plenty of profit to be made, but you got to understand that we're getting out right now. If you guys don't get out, you're going to lose all your profit. Anyways, guys, this is the video I had for you. If you found value, leave a like, comment, and subscribe. Hit that notification bell so you don't miss out on any of these amazing videos. If you guys like what you see, want to join the Discord server or download my free ebook, links are provided for you in the description. If you guys would also like to join the Discord server for the wheelies, come get access to that. If you guys want to get whitelisted to my project, it's going to be a big project, a lot of big names working on it. We've already spent a lot of money building it, and so 
I'm about as confident as you could possibly be with an NFT project. We're so much more unique than other projects out there. Firmly confident this is going to be a, one of those jam opportunities in the NFT market. So if you guys want to join the Discord server, get access to the whitelist, all of that fun stuff. Links are provided for you in the description for that. If you guys would also like to join my VIP, follow the trades that I take, all that fun stuff. Links are all in the description for all of it. You guys can find everything that you're looking for. Thank you guys so much for watching. And with that being said, I will catch you in the next one. As always, peace out.